Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I am at Centered CrossFit where I coach, and today we're gonna be going through what I eat in a day when I coach. So stay tuned, check it out. All right, so the first meal of the day uh, is a little egg scramble. Uh, so I'll tell you what I normally make, uh, but this is just what I made for today. So if I open this up, take a look at it. Uh, I got about four eggs here. And typically what I do is I'll do about two egg whites and then three whole eggs. But today I just did uh, four whole eggs. And then what I do is I throw in some spinach and I normally cut up some tomatoes. I put some tomatoes in there as well. But today I just threw some spinach in there uh, to make it quick as I didn't have any tomatoes cut up ready to go. From there, I like to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I'll throw some garlic powder in there as well. Uh, then I throw uh, a lot of herbs on there as well. Some oregano, some parsley, uh, and things like that. Whatever I have on hand to go with it. From there, I just got two pieces of toast, two pieces of bread rather, um, to throw in with it. Just to have something to eat with it. Um, a little bit of carbs as well. So this is typically what I eat every morning. Uh, but it kind of varies depending on what I have on hand as well as what I prep for the day from there. So uh, this is pretty much all. A uh, little egg scramble, super simple to make in the morning. Only takes about maybe four or five minutes, depending on uh, how much things I prep to put in it, like tomatoes, spinach, those types of things. Next thing I like to do in the morning is I always take a little bit of vitamins as well. So nothing too crazy here, but um, all I do is take a oil of oregano, really good for immunity and health, especially in these times uh, that we're currently in right now. Also, what I'll do is I'll take a fish oil, really, really good for heart health, um, blood, everything like that. So. Um, some fish oil there, and then I typically take um, some vitamin C as well, just because I got it, might as well take it. Um, so, some vitamin C, some fish oil, oil of oregano, keep it super simple. Sometimes I'll take a multivitamin um, if I got it on hand, but right now I'm out, so I don't take one as well. Um, so yeah, pretty simple, a few vitamins here, just pop them in after breakfast, um, good to go. So we're in between classes here. Uh, just got done coaching the 7.30 class. Got a 9 a.m. class coming up here in a few minutes. Uh, but in between classes, I like to eat a, eat a little snack if I'm feeling a little bit hungry. So my snack changes depending on the day. Today I have some cut up peppers and then some watermelon as well. The peppers change. I try to throw a vegetable in there, broccoli, carrots, those type of things. I do enjoy it with a little bit of ranch. I think if you eat it without ranch, that's just not human. Uh, so as long as it's not preparing for anything, uh, I like a little bit of ranch. Obviously you can do too much, so just a little dip um, and then enjoy it from there. The fruit typically changes. Watermelon's really good right now. Uh, some are starting to come up, so um, watermelon's the go-to right now. Uh, but that changes sometimes pineapple. Pineapple is another one of my favorite, as well as apples as well. So I definitely don't eat this whole thing at Tupperware. I just bring it because that's the way it's prepared in my fridge. And I just eat uh, a few pieces here and there. That way I have something to go to, something that's somewhat fulfilling as well uh, in between classes. That way I'm not reaching for things that are really, really bad uh, for me. So that's just what I like to do for a little snack um, and enjoy that in between classes when I teach. All right, guys, it is 11.24. It is time for lunch. We're in between classes here. Um, the 9 a.m. and the noon class that I teach. So gonna enjoy some lunch today. Uh, got a frozen chicken breast uh, that I packed. This comes, got it in the frozen section. Super easy, already cooked. Just drop it in the Tupperware, ready to go. I got about a half a cup of potatoes just chopped up uh, and cooked in the oven. And then I also have about a half a cup of broccoli um, that I boiled up on the stove top. So I really enjoy it that way. It's nice and soft. I add just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper to those, and it's pretty good from there. Uh, the roasted peppers, we added a little bit of spice, a little bit of heat to them, but those are pretty good. And uh, then the chicken breast actually already comes seasoned. I think it's mesquite or something like that. And uh, then I like to cut it up, and I have a little bit of barbecue sauce here. I think this is the open pit, so not the best stuff for you, but it tastes so, so good. And I love just dipping the chicken in it and enjoying it that way. So a little bit of sauce, try not to do a whole bunch just because it adds a lot of calories in there, but I think it really helps uh, eat the chicken just because uh, it gets a little bit uh, dry rather. So this adds a little bit of moisture and it tastes really, really good. So uh, the barbecue sauce open pit, and I think it's the bourbon 
one that we get as well. So not just a regular one, but it's one of the flavored ones as well. I don't quite remember, but. So yeah, that's pretty much all I do. And this one's actually what I do for dinner as well. So I typically between lunch and dinner, I'll have a little bit of a snack. Sometimes it might be like a protein bar or I'll do a protein shake as well. Uh, after I work out, but typically dinners look pretty much the same. So about a chicken breast, sometimes it's ground beef. I'll do about five ounces of that cooked. And then I'll do some kind of vegetable, whether it's broccoli, sometimes it's asparagus, and then uh, I'll do some kind of carb as well. Uh, a lot of the times it is rice, white rice or brown rice, whatever I really got. Uh, for me, portion control is kind of like the big thing. So as long as I can keep it inside this Tupperware, I'm pretty good. Uh, and I like to use my hand as a guideline to uh, measure things out. So I pretty much eyeball everything. I don't really measure it out. Um, I do sometimes, I used to, but now I've gotten pretty good at um, just eyeballing it. And like I said, my big thing is just portion control. So as long as I can keep things under control and don't binge eat, then I'm typically pretty good. So um, yeah, that's me with all. Lunch and dinner are pretty much the same, so I won't go into the dinner portion of it, but uh, it looks pretty much the same as this. So yeah. So that's pretty much all for what I eat in a day when I coach. Hope you enjoyed it. I want to say a special thank you to Centered CrossFit. I'm going to drop their social media channels right here uh, for you to check out. Make sure to go like them on Instagram, follow them on Instagram, like them on Facebook, as well as they have a YouTube channel. Go check that out and subscribe. You might see a familiar face on there as well. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, drop a like, and if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you.